Welcome to the Real Estate Fight Club. Welcome to another episode of Real Estate Fight Club. What's up, Jay Mart? Monica, I am pumped for this one. I know. Today, Jen and I have the honor of having Levi Lassick with us. And we're just glad you made time for us, Levi. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, wow. thanks, Levi. So today you are like the YouTube master generating leads on YouTube. And we are happy to hear your top three tips for generating those leads. But I think also, Levi, what I'm hearing from you, it, it is authentic, like Monica's saying, but it's also very purposeful. Like you are running this, you created the business first and, and you're running it strategically. So give us some tips on as real estate agents, we have, maybe we have a YouTube channel. We don't maybe have a ton of subscribers, but how do we get leads from that? What do we do? Yeah, you have to be extremely intentional and strategic. I love to say I love to say you can hyper learn any subject in 60 days because of the amount of information out there and the right. age that we live in right now. So, I mean, if you want to be the best postcard marketer on the planet, if you actually studied postcard marketing for the next 60 days, you could do that and probably be better than 99% of the agents. So, oh, for sure. Same sure. same with YouTube. I mean, the information is out there. There's YouTube marketing books. Uh, now I bought them all. I bought like eight or nine of them. Uh, I narrowed it down to two, uh, which was YouTube secrets and YouTube formula. Those are the two books uh, other than our own that is coming out in February. Uh, we do have a book. Yeah. Passive prospecting, uh, which nice. we have coming out in, in February, which that so is just get that right. Because yeah, that'll well, pull from everything. Well, it's really going to help you break down. Yes. Well, I, in the first nine chapters, I break down the principle of why YouTube is so important and why it's so powerful over every other platform. And I believe just in marketing in general, I'm not mm -hmm. saying that don't do anything else. I'm just saying that if, if, if you're going to be in business more than a year or longer, you need to incorporate YouTube. And this is mm -hmm. not just for real estate agents. It's for any business owner. Mm -hmm. So the first nine chapters are the principles. You know, we, we compare a lot of uh, traditional marketing versus marketing on YouTube and why it's so powerful. Then the then the last five chapters of the book, I'm actually breaking down the whole process for you to start your, your own channel, um, build it out, how to research, you know, how to create content, how to shoot videos. I mean, I explain that as in depth as much as possible in the book with pictures, snapshots from our channel, from the back end analytics, all of that, so they can That's get awesome. the best visual possible. So the thing is, is that if you don't do that go out and you've got to do some research. First of all, you you have to, uh, what I like to say is that if YouTube, like a hobby, it'll pay you like a hobby. If you treat it like a business, it'll pay you like a business. Mm -hmm. So most people get on these social platforms and don't understand them. They just get started, which there's something about that. I mean, I admire that. Just I feel personally started. attacked, Levi. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> will argue with you. She'll yeah, well, look, hey, I, am, I admire anybody that takes action, but I also recommend just taking a step back first and understanding, researching, getting a good, not analysis paralysis, don't yeah. do that, but get in a research uh, have a, a deadline to where, okay, I'm going to study this for the next 30, 60 days. Mm -hmm. And while I'm studying that, I'm going to build out a business plan, actually treat a social platform, whichever one you want to get started on as, as a, as a marketing opportunity, as a marketing platform and, and understanding how it works uh, first and foremost. Then once you build out your plan, you're going to understand through your research, what videos to shoot, when you should shoot them, how consistent should you be, uh, how many times per week do you want to publish. So all of that should be laid out before you ever hit record because you don't want to record one video and then feel lost after that. Or right. you get so excited and you publish it and then guess what happens? Life happens, health happens, real estate happens, family happens, and then nothing happens and you don't post anything for the next four or five weeks and that will kill right. your channel quicker than anything. So, you know, research, plan, film. And then once you film, I always recommend people film at least a month's worth in advance. So if you're going to publish three videos a week, film 12 videos first, mm -hmm. have them done, edited, scheduled, because when you publish the first video, you're, you're already a month ahead. Right. And it gives you that entire month to film your next month's worth of content. And so by the time that month, uh, full month publishes, you're, you have another month scheduled out. And guess what that allows you to do to, to start working on your next month. So if you can do that, and then if something happens, life, health, or maybe you take a vacation, you know, then you're only, you're, you're still ahead three weeks instead of, you know, trying to just publish something every single week and always feeling behind right. and then you can get back on track. But this is why, you know, this, this last year, 2022, 
we went to 25 conferences, you know, and we, we wow. spoke, yeah, we spoke at half of them. The other half, we were there just to meet people and, and build relationships and, and network and, and learn. And so, you know, we were able to do right under a hundred million in business and, and still being gone to 25 conferences, wow. uh, wow. in, you know, addition to that. And so we didn't have to be in our business every single day because the videos were constantly working for us. And that's the whole concept of passive prospecting. You know, most people that get in trouble with their families or, or, you know, especially when they're on vacation or don't, you know, the spouse is always like, you don't take any time off. It's, it's usually because they feel guilty about right. you know, not generating leads and mm-hmm. not, you know, being in their business. But when you have a channel working for you constantly and not just 24 seven, YouTube doesn't take time. YouTube makes time. Not only does it make you time, it compounds your time. Mm-hmm. And the thing is like in one month, you know, um, our channel has watched 11,800 hours in one month that that's you awesome. divide that, yeah, you divide that by 24 hours in a day. That's 1.34 years. So in one month, wow. our channel prospected for us 1.34 years. Wow. And so that's- yeah, that's why we're able to do the amount of business we're doing is because it's not just us you know, shaking hands and kissing babies. It's not just us making phone calls for two hours a day. It is uh, getting a multiple compound of our time because the videos can be viewed by a hundred, a thousand, 10,000 people at one time. You, right. I don't care if you had a team of 20 inside sales reps, you would never be able to make the amount of phone calls still because no. even those salespeople can only call one person at right. one time. And and so the videos are just- Well, they constantly. may not even be calling the people that are, I mean, I make a ton of phone calls every day, but the real, there's only a few leads out of that, right? Yeah, exactly. And so where yeah. this is like, it's the right people coming to your channel. Inbound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all inbound here. <laughs> Love it. That makes Classic sense. Levi Lassic. I love this so much, Levi. You are helping people show them a different way to lead generate. And this is what Jen and I fight about every freaking week. <laughs> Levi, thank you so much. It was awesome. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. See you. Yeah. See you next time, Jen. Bye. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a podcast.